whoop the scoop the whoop the whoop man here we are bro i ain't even want to sit here and do this vid bro or respond to it but you feel me i guess y'all want my pov since it's my little cousin and since it is my little cousin i am gonna speak on the situation you feel me okay so basically while i was in chicago a trip i got invited to by kiana J. Uh, I guess my little cousin made a video uh, by the time I came back on Monday she was gone she had went to Atlanta with Jaleesa and them so I guess she got to Atlanta and she decided to drop this video that you know say that basically she feels left out or like we don't invite her nowhere and that's just like I don't know like it's just weird to me that like my little cousin to make a video like that when she could have just hit my phone or just simply came and talked to me in person gather us as a group together and told us that or put us all in a group message and told us that because she never ever 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 came to us seriously and set us down and told us that that affected her not once the only time i heard her bring that stuff up is like when we come in she'll say some joking like oh y'all didn't invite me but she's laughing like she's making it a joke she never seriously came to me personally and grabbed me to the side and told me that she don't Never get invited or that she be feeling left out with the trip she never came to me and told me that she never set us down as a whole group in the living room and said guys this is how i feel she never put us in a group chat phone call and never told us that i'm not a genie y'all i'm one person i cannot read minds i don't know what's going on in somebody's head and she told me yesterday on the phone because i did call her i called her yesterday before i even made this video i called her and i'll talk to her because that's what family do that's what big cousins do like that's my little cousin y'all not just gonna hop on the internet and just make a video i called her yesterday she was like y'all just don't understand i done been saying this you have never ever ever told me this seriously you done only threw little shady small little subliminal funny little jokes you've never ever told me this was a serious issue or a serious problem you have to communicate if you want to be an adult you have to communicate that comes with adulting expressing how you feel for real not jokingly shading about it not throwing little subliminals about it but standing on business because kaya has a mouth and she know how to talk nobody around here mistreats kaya that's my little cousin y'all think i'm gonna let anybody around here mistreat her like let's be real 100 percent though let's be real no all these guys have little siblings in their life loaded have nieces amar have a little sister rod have a little sister jordan has a little sister and a daughter Vaughn has nieces jay long has a mom aunties we all have women in our life i have nothing but little nieces and little cousins i have nothing but all of it no matter what gender i would never ever let nobody mistreat them that was like od and a lot of y'all on the outside looking in y'all don't stay with us y'all are not here i would never ever 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 let nobody mistreat my cousin like what is y'all even talking about like where is that even coming from the reason why kaya didn't get invited to chicago is because y'all i got invited to chicago five days before the trip kiana j reached out to me she was going out there for her studs versus film casting call that was kiana trip she said she wanted me to co-host because i did season one i'm like cool i'll just slide out there real quick let me go in and book me in my cameraman flight because i'm seeing comments where it's saying why do von get to go everywhere von is my cameraman I pay Von. He's on a payroll. I pay him to be my cameraman. He has to come everywhere I go. It's his job. I pay him. Loaded came because it was beneficial for Loaded. Loaded has free flights all year, y'all. I say this every vlog. Loaded don't even fly the same airline as us because he has free flights through United. It was beneficial for him. And since Kiana told me she was bringing her cameraman plus one, I brought my cameraman plus one because I know Loaded could just get up and go. It just made sense for him. Why would I hit my little cousin and be like, hey, um, you want to come to Chicago? It's going to be 800 for the room for two days. And it's going to be like a six dollar flight that's not beneficial to look cuz look cuz gonna come maybe get a vlog in look cuz wasn't doing no studio content or no major work y'all see all the other foe members they stayed back here because that made sense for them now if you just want to come and spend unnecessary money and it ain't beneficial or don't make sense for you and your brand then you could come do that but i don't think that made sense for my little cousin and plus y'all my little cousin can't come everywhere with me it is what it is i'm only one person i cannot satisfy and please everybody while i'm living and breathing on earth no my little cousin still won't be coming every single where with me we in two different age brackets do you bring your little sister your little cousin your nieces and nephews everywhere with you hell no nah. you don't you don't and don't sit here and tell me you do you don't some places my little cousin can't come y'all even sometime when we bring her out in houston we be having to uber her back home because she can't get in because the club is 21 plus like we always involve her when we can every time we go to top golf kaya come bowling kaya come anything that we can involve her in we do but everything don't make sense for her to come to that's just like if a little vibe come down from miami and she tell me hey uh, me and my homegirls gonna be out here we got an airbnb for the weekend the boys come through she talking about the guys why would i invite my little cousin to a B 
B&B party or a B&B function with nothing but women. She's straight. And this is why I preach to her, y'all. She can't sit here and say I don't preach to her. I always tell her to find influencer friends or find friends that surround her age. Do content. Reach out. Network. DM them. I even be sending her people who are her age. That's influencers that I know that's in the city. That's why we bring other influencers around her that's her age so she can collab. So she can work. So she can network. Every trip my little cousin is not going to be able to come on and that's okay y'all. Do y'all not understand? I be around boys majority. Boys because I'm a stud. I hang around nothing but men. My little cousin is straight. She need to be around women. Girly girls. So she could get her feminine energy. So she could keep it. So it could brighten. So like you know what I'm saying? I want her to be around that. And that's why I stress to her to find friends that's your age. Other people that's getting to that bag. That's you know what I'm saying? Young like you. That's influencers. I always put that in her head. She can't sit here and say that jazz don't do that. I put that in her head. She tried to tell me that basically like we're not feeling where she coming from and i really can't feel where she coming from because you never told me that's how you was really feeling like she never set me down y'all she never pulled jasmine to the side and said that she never set us down as a collective group and said that she just hopped on the camera and told y'all that because i guess she just wanted to you know what i'm saying state her emotions which is fine which is fine by me just like I have a New York trip coming up that Kiana J invited me to for another casting call because she's doing Chicago versus New York studs and films for her show. So we did the casting in Chicago and we're going to go to New York to do the casting. Again, a two-day trip that's going to cost a lot of money. If it's not beneficial for you, why would you come? Why would I tell my little cousin to come being dead ass? When I know that she could be stacking money right now. Like, I know she finna get her apartment in like the next month or two. Why would I tell you to spend unnecessary money? That's not a good financial decision. Why would Big Cuz tell you to do that? When you could be saving your money and stacking your money for when we move out of here and you get in your own apartment. Why would Big Cuz say that? My cousin is not gonna be able to come on every trip, y'all. That's not unfair. That is life. Nobody is mistreating my little cousin, bro. I would never let nobody around me mistreat my little cousin. Her mama sent her down here to be up under me. Why would I let anybody mistreat her? And then let's move on to the money thing. She say when it's time for us to hit her about the bills that's when we hit her i mean you live in the crib you stay here you have to pay rent you have to pay bills i mean that's a part of adulthood i didn't have kaya since she was 15. kaya and amara moved into my old crib at tamara branch january of 2021 she was 15. kaya is now 19 years old the entire time at tamara branch i made sure nobody paid rent except me anybody that was staying at the old crib never paid rent because i wanted everybody to stack their bread and be ready to when we moved into the next crib which is the crib now i can call amara and confirm that because he stayed there y'all know everybody who stayed in the old crib jazz was the only one paying that rent so i let everybody get themselves together and stack their bread stack their bread stack their bread like i said kaya been in that crib with me since she was 15 she's 19 years old now we just moved in this crib november 1st of 2023 y'all do the calculations she just started paying bills she just started paying rent so let me call my best friend who was staying with me also and ask him who was paying the rent it's never about money with me hello hey twin so it's a mayor branch from when I moved you in there, you and Kaya, because y'all was the first ones in there, January 2021. From then till we moved out the house, who was paying rent? Shit, you twin. Shit. Did I ever come to y'all and tell y'all to give me something, even though y'all wanted to give me bread? You and a couple other members offer bread. I always tell y'all to do what? Shit, bro, y'all good, bro. Just stay down to stack y'all bread and everything, bro. I'm going to handle it. That's, pretty, that's literally the words that I remember hearing out your mouth, bro. You let niggas do, like, stay down and just, you know, get they self together. You ain't bug a nigga or nothing like that. You let everybody get they self together, pretty much. All right, twin. That's all I want to confirm. Same list, bro. Like... I don't know why look cuz hopping on here like I'm just asking for bread like you stay here. When we all agreed to move in this crib in November, y'all, we all seven, because the seven members of FOE, we all seven said we was breaking down the bill. I'm supposed to ask you for the bill money at the beginning of the month. And I just don't ask for any type of amount. I send a breakdown of how much electricity was used, how much water, how much gas, plus how much we made off the FOE channel, because that comes out. I'm the least person to ask for money. I give more than I receive. And that's been me since I've been a, a baby. Bring something in me to give, to see joy on other people's face, to smile. Yes, I have to ask you for bill money because you're an adult now i let you stack and grind from 15 to over 19 because we ain't move out that crib until november of last year that's only like december january february march april may june july that's eight months 
you got a lifetime to go. And I ain't gonna even be the person that's asking for the bill money. It's gonna be the other man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was just getting her ready for adulthood because in life, you have to pay bills regardless. If you wanna live, breathe, and sleep on earth, you have to pay bills. It's a part of adulting. Like, we always make sure Kaya good. Even when Kaya do get in spots with us that she's not supposed to be in, she always ride with Jordan. Jordan always leave the function early. He come home, drop Kaya off, which is 30 minutes away, and then Jordan might leave and go to his motion because he wanna pull up on a little bitty. But he makes sure that little sis always get back home. I make sure, I be telling him, Jordan, hey bro, make sure you go ahead and take Kaya back to the crib. A Martin brung her back. Usually I don't drive out. I don't drive, I always usually ride. But it's been times, y'all, that like Kaya came with us and she couldn't get in. She didn't have to Uber back home. And like who wants to go through that every single time, especially if we're out of the country or if we're out of the city. If we in Miami, New York, Chicago, LA, Las Vegas. You don't wanna just sit in no telly or no Airbnb because you can't go to every little function. You can't come to every event because of your age. Like I'm just here to say, from big cuz, you from big cuz status. Like I do understand a little bit where you coming, but I really can't understand because like I said, you have not sat down and talked to us. I talked to her on the phone yesterday you feel me but like she was emotional so like y'all know how females are when they emotional they crying i can't really understand all that she was basically saying that we only care because she made a video no i mean i would have never known that made me understand a little bit that you was even feeling like that because i didn't even know that i'm not a genie i cannot read minds y'all i don't have that power none of us in this house can read minds every time she is out with us nobody complains about bringing her home bro we try to involve her with everything that we can y'all everything don't make sense for my little cousin to come to every event don't make sense for my little cousin to be it y'all some places and people i don't want her around and that's okay y'all like that's okay my cousins my siblings don't have to go every single where with me y'all siblings don't go everywhere with y'all and that's okay y'all that's okay everything is not an foe trip when have y'all even seen an foe trip when have y'all seen every single member on a trip we never even done nothing like that usually two or three members always stay back just because they want to we're all adults you don't have to go but everybody always gets invited sometimes we don't invite kaya because it don't make sense it have to make sense and be beneficial sometimes and that's not going to be all the time and that's okay y'all that's okay like i said bro i'm only one person bro. i can't help and save everybody i can't tend to everybody needs i be having my own needs sometimes i don't got nobody to talk to like you feel me sometimes you feel me i go through my emotions by myself but, but that's a part of adulthood bro that's a part of knowing and growing to know yourself you feel me that's a part of learning about life and learning about yourself more. At 19, y'all, I was traveling the world by myself back and forth to LA because I was networking. Boom, bada bang. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to get from Lil Rock. I'm hustling. I'm trying to put my foot in the door by myself. No help, no family, no advice. My family not in the entertainment business. They're not in this world. They don't know nothing about this world. Nobody could help me. So like with being at her age, I know that she has to learn. She has to grow. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not here to be please or Pamela. I can't please everybody. But what she could have did, she could have, you know what I'm saying, set us all down and really told us how she felt because Kaya never ever told us that she was feeling that way. She never told nobody in the crib. Like I said, she only made shady, subliminal little hints about it. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? That's my cousin. I still love my cousin. I got nothing but love for my cousin, bro. I used to change her diapers, do her hair, put barrettes in her hair, teach her how to play basketball, like do all type of stuff, bro. Sleep on the floor, watch movies. Like that's my cousin, bro. And I still love her. Still got nothing but but love for her, man. Want to see her do everything that she want to do in life. Be successful, level up, and grow in all aspects. You feel me? But yeah, man, I just had to come on here, give my POV from it, because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all over saying we treating Kaya unfair or we're mistreating her, bro. Nobody's treating Kaya unfair. Nobody is mistreating Kaya, bro. At all, bro. I would never let that ride, never let that slide, bro. Like, y'all got to look up the definition of mistreat. To treat a personal animal badly, cruelly, or unfairly. Y'all saying it's basically unfair because she can't go everywhere that we go. We are all in different age brackets. We don't even go everywhere each other go. When the last time y'all seen Jordan on the trip? When the last time y'all seen Jane Long on the trip? When the last time y'all seen me and Rod on the trip? Everybody don't always go, y'all. Just like I came back. Look, cuz in Atlanta. I'm happy for look, cuz. I'm like, yeah, Kaya done went out there with the girlies. Because that's what I've been telling her to do is get around more females. That's her age. You know what I'm saying? I want her to grow and have friends. That's her age. She do girly activities. She do girls trips. And she do girl nail spa dates. And she do that. Because that's her feminine energy. I know how big that is. When you're becoming into your womanhood. That's big for her. I want that for cuz. You know what I'm saying? That mean a lot when she's growing into a full woman. Like, I know my little cousin. I know she's straight. I know what, like, little girly things she love to do. That's for her to have girlfriends, not be around the guys. You can't be around the guys all day. Yes, she's FOE. She will always be FOE. But you can't 
do everything with the guys. Everything not beneficial, bro. And I can't bring my little cousin everywhere with me. And sometimes shit just don't make sense. That's why y'all see some of the guys stay. That's why sometimes y'all see me out of town. Or me ain't Vaughn. Or me Vaughn and Loaded. Or me Vaughn and Amar. Sometimes Loaded stay back. Like, I don't even know why I gotta explain this, you feel me? But I wanted my POV. I love y'all, man. I still love my cousin. It's none but love. I will still let nobody disrespect her, mistreat her, or none of that, because none of us do. We all have our own bond with Kaya. Everybody in the house, you know what I'm saying? We always give big brother, big sister advice. Even when she come to us and talk to us about boys and all that, we always try to give her our view and our perspective. We only show love to Kaya, bro, like dead ass, bro. Like dead ass. And like Kaya has a mouth, she know how to talk, she know how to stand up for herself. That motherfucker right there is assertive as hell. She's assertive. Kaya's not one of the people you can just run over, no. No, she's a strong black woman. She know how to talk, she got a mouthpiece. She really does. But I wish she could've just came to us, bruh. Like I said, I had a convo with her yesterday before I made the video, so I don't think I just made this video and me and cuz ain't talk. Like I said, it's all love, it's no bad blood. I just want to give my POV with it, man. Cause y'all gotta look at it from big cuz point of view. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big cousin. That's my little cousin. Used to change the diapers, all that. My little cousin not coming every single place with me. And you know that, cause your siblings that's younger than you are not coming every single where with you. Anyway though, man, we finna wrap up this video. I love y'all, man. Uh, that's my little POV with it. I love you, Kaya, man. Uh, continue to grow, continue to prosper. And that's with everything you do in life. We got more content on the way, y'all. This ain't it, Ski. I just wanted to get on here and chat it up with y'all real quick. Other than that, man, y'all stay tuned with it. I'ma see y'all next video. We out. <laughs>